In this recording, we look at finding probabilities in a standard normal distribution table and an introduction to reading these types of normal distribution tables generally. First of all, what is the standard normal distribution? Well, it is a normal distribution with mean mu equals zero and standard deviation sigma equals one. And because the normal distribution is symmetric, that mean of zero will be in the center of the distribution. And we're going to look in this recording at how to find probabilities in a cumulative distribution function table, as that is a common way for normal distribution tables to be presented, although be aware that they may also sometimes be presented in other forms. In a cumulative distribution function table, phi of z is then the cumulative distribution function for the standard normal distribution. So what does that mean? What is a cumulative distribution function? Well, in the case of the standard normal distribution, it's representing the probability that a randomly selected value will be less than or equal to some number z. And so the function shows this for all values of z in the standard normal distribution. So that visually, it is the area under the standard normal curve to the left of a specified value z. That is if we drew a picture to represent that situation. For a given value of z, we know that this is centered at zero. Let's just take a value of z over here, but we could also have one over the other side, obviously. For that value of z, phi of z is then going to be that area under the curve to the left of z. So it is those areas for given values of z that we will see when we look at our standard normal distribution table in a minute. And in a table, z is given correct to two decimal places. The integer part, that is the whole number part and the first decimal place, are given in the column of numbers on the left. And the second decimal place is usually given on the top row of the table. So we'll see how this table looks in just a minute in the context of the following example. Let's suppose that in a standard normal distribution, we wanted to find the probability of z being less than or equal to 1.26. So before we go to the table to work this out, let's again just draw a very rough sketch of what this situation looks like. So here's a normal curve centered at zero. So 1.26 is going to be about there. And we're basically looking for the probability of z less than or equal to that. So we are indeed looking for the area under this curve to the left of 1.26. And that means that this probability is always in the required form. It is the area to the left of some value. So we can just obtain this directly from our table. So we wanted the probability of z being less than or equal to 1.26 in this case. So 1.26, remember that the whole number part, which is one, and the first decimal place will be in this column. So that'll be 1.2 in this case. Then the second decimal place is up here. So in this case, that was six. So 1.26, if we go across, we find the required probability here. So in a standard normal distribution, the probability of z being less than or equal to 1.26 is 0.8962. So this is an introduction to how to read these tables. And it's a case where we could have used the table directly to find the answer. But if we want the probability of z greater than some value or between two values, then we need to do a bit more calculation, obviously. So you might want to see part two of this recording on reading normal tables for some examples of those cases.